Welcome back, ladies and gents. Now, before we go any further, I think it's important that we have um, a logo. Um, now, sometimes in some courses, they'll give you a logo to work with. In this case, unfortunately, there, there isn't one. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to make one quickly. Now, you're not going to get any extra marks for this, but you can lose marks for not having one, uh, just because most of you guys will have some kind of consistency uh, house style linked to the actual uh, logo that you have. So let's make one, and this is a quick way of doing it. You go to Google, type in free logo maker. <coughs> Excuse me, losing, losing my voice. Now there's plenty of free online uh, websites that you can use. Does it really make, uh, make a difference which one you do go for? I've used this one in the past, so I'm gonna go for this one here. <coughs> now once that that's, uh, while this is lo uh, loading up, I'm gonna open a new PowerPoint. You're going to need one. And there we go. And open a blank page and delete everything on the screen. So control A, delete. There we go. Leave that there for now. And let's go back to the website. I'm going to cross this off. I've not used it in a while, uh, but I'm sure it's pretty easy. So I'm just going to look for something here. So I'm going to put down doctor. Let's see if there's anything here that comes up. So here you go. You've got loads, you know, tons of different uh, um, symbols that you can use to create your logo. I'm gonna go for something simple because the key is to keep it simple. Uh, the more complicated it, it, it is, the difficult, uh, the more difficult it will be. So this is a great piece of software because you know, depending on what company you work for or you'll be asked to work for, um, you can choose something from here. There's a search facility to find uh, something that might be relevant from their online catalog. So obviously in this mock, we're working for a medical practice, but in the real thing, you could be working for a police station. You could be working, working for a local post office or some kind of delivery service or a vet. It could be any number of companies. So I've looked, uh, obviously here we're doing a doctor's surgery, so we're gonna pick something from here. And I'm gonna pick something, let's see, which one should we go for? Something obviously medical related. I'm thinking this one here. There we go. And I'm gonna change the color to blue. There we go. And I'm gonna type in some text here and I'm gonna put Drosen Medical Practice. I'm sure that's what it was called. Let's just double check that. And it's always a good idea to double check everything here. They give you this table for a reason. So you can remind yourself of all the things that you need to do to get those top marks. So Drosen Medical Practice. So I'm going to go for DP, DMP, DMP. DMP, there it is. Uh, highlight that and change the color to about there, I think. And then I'm gonna just, if it lets me, drag it to about here, center. And I'm going to should be able to change the size. Let's have a look. Just delete this. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? So font. Look for Arial. There you are. That's fine. And size. Oh, I wonder if it's just dragging it out. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. It's actually more simple than I thought. Okay, so I'm going to make this a little bit larger. There we go. And then it's a simple case of dragging it to where you want it. So I think about there. Okay, so I'm going to keep it as simple as that. DMP, draws a medical practice, finished. Now, as I said, you're not going to get anything extra uh, for choosing something um, that looks absolutely fancy. You just need something. Uh, so once you got that, the uh, best way to do to um, save it, easiest way, because obviously um, we're not paying for this here. And since you're, you're using something here for educational purposes, you know you don't have to worry about any kind of copyright issues because you're not making any money from this. It's just hypothetical. You're going to use the print screen feature on your keyboard, typically found near the top right side of your keyboard. Press that once. Go to the blank. PowerPoint that you've just created, paste it in as an image. 
and we're going to simply um, crop it. So I'm going to zoom out, format, crop, drag it in from the black lines. There we go. Click away, and we can zoom back in again. And that's your logo. Um, if you want to, you can actually do something to this. So there's a um, nice little feature here to make the white transparent underneath color. Set transparent color. Click on the background. I should do it. There we go. If I move over to the edge, you can see the backgrounds disappear. That's useful to have for later. Now I'm going to save this by right click and save as a picture. And we're going to put it into our folder. So <clears throat> I'm going to find my folder. I've got mine here somewhere. Um, BTEC, component one. And I'm going to put it into learning AMC. And we're going to leave as PNG. And we're going to put it, um, just call it what it is. So DMP, DMP logo and save and that's it so that's how easy it is to create a logo uh, like I said keep it simple choose the colors that you want uh, that you're going to keep to all the way through your user interface